Good morning. Lisa Britt here. Hi. Also, Butterfly Girl CEO. So I come today to show you something. How to put on a female condom. Last week I did a male condom. This week I'm doing a female condom. A lot of people don't know that there are female condoms. Have you ever heard of a female condom? Yes, they are FC2. That's what they're called. And here's a here's a package. Here's another package. Two different colors. I don't know why, but they're two. Um, anyway, so yeah, they're called FC2 condoms. Okay, that's what they are. So, um, basically it says... The FC2 female condom is indicated for preventing pregnancy, HIV, AIDS, and other sexually transmitted infections. Use when every sex act. One time use only, please. Only, please. Okay. So, I have a prop. And it's a cube. Okay. It's a cube. Plastic cube. And why is something how they make this supposed to look like a vagina? But anyway, there's a little hole in there because all vaginas have holes. <laughs> right? Okay, so anyway, little hole in there. See, woo! So basically, like always, like any male condom, you're supposed to what? Check the expiration date. We do all that. So, and then on the back, it has instructions on how to put it in. Yeah. How to put it in. See, let me go a little closer. Closer, closer. Let me come back. Back. And those are the instructions on how to put them in. It looks like it has five, no, six instructions. It has six instructions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so anyway... So this is how we're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna use this. And see, they has a little thing right here where you can blow it up to make it fit right. So, this is our little fake vagina prop. Are y'all clear? Are y'all plastic? <laughs> okay, anyway. I love playing around. Sometimes I crack myself up. So I'm opening it up where it says tear here open it up voila here it is it's big it's like a big old man's penis condom doesn't it wow if a man penis this big whoo lord help you so anyway it's very lubricated very lubricated you see all that stuff dear dear can you turn that down? I'm doing a demonstration, please. My husband, y'all. My husband. Anyway, if you want to get in the video, you can. Yeah. You help me put this female condom in this fake vagina? He said no. <laughs> okay, so basically, in here, there's a ring. You see that little round, that little circle, see? Right there? Let me squeeze it. See? Squeeze. So... And here's the opening part where the penis goes in. Right in there. Penis. You understand me? Penis. Okay. So now. So what you do is. Lisa, why are you talking so loud? I don't know. My sister, why are you talking so loud? You're talking too loud. Okay. So you squeeze it. You know, you, sque you just pinch it. Well, you squeeze it. Squeeze it down. My other hand is greasy from this stuff. But it's okay. It, it'll be all right. So you got the fake vagina and you got the female condom and the ring is inside. So what you do is squeeze the ring and this is how you put it in. You put it in, you put it in, and you put it all the way in. You see that? Look, it's going in all the way to the cervix. Look at that. Look, 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 see? And it's in, you see the ring? It's in. That's when you know when it's in right. And on the outside of vagina, you're going to have this, the opening. The opening. So once the man put that penis in this 
female condom, nothing's going to get in there unless it's got a hole at the tip. And pray it don't have a hole at the tip where the ring is at. And that's where the penis goes in. And this part right here is going to be laying outside of your vagina. Okay? Mm. And also, ladies, you can put this in a couple of hours before you have sex. Right. A couple of hours before you have sex. Because you know how you got that instant thing. Let's say you like you going to the club. And you dropping it like it's hot. And you want to go in the bathroom and maybe look, sneak off with a little man. You go to the club, you already had this on. You want to do it real quick, a quickie. It's already in your vagina. Boom, boom, bam. And there you go. And so, look, my hands are a little greasy. So you just take it when you want ready to pull it out of your vagina. And you just pull it out. You see that? You pull it out. And there you have it. The female condom that was in the vagina. Female condom in the vagina. Okay. And then you throw it in the trash. Do not put it in the toilet. Okay? Not in the toilet. So anyway, I'm getting my my little paper towel here. Ooh. And then I gotta wash this bag. This girl. I gotta wash this 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 bad girl. Yeah. I wash it with some soap and water. So that's it. That's how you put on a female condom. It's easy. Bam bam boom. And I hope you know how to put on a male condom too, ladies. Put it on the male. Cause sometimes they be tripping. They be like, oh I put it on, they be lying they butt off. You make sure you learn how to put on the a male condom on the man. So anyway, so um, I also want to show you some other things. You know what? Before the pandemic started, I used to go out and speak all the time, especially at middle schools or high schools, colleges, churches, any organization that needs someone that's positive living with HIV to come speak. I used to do that a lot. So, you know, even though the pandemic is still here, and things are opening up, it's still dangerous. But I want to go out and speak, y'all. I need y'all to help me out. Help me out. You know, donate to the Butterfly Girls LLC. I have a women's support group called Butterfly Girls Women's Support Group. I have a shoe line called Butterfly Girls Shoes. I have a nails line, well, page, shall I say, Butterfly Nails, all on Facebook. And uh, and they're, they're the pandemic nails, you know. Pandemic nails is where you sit around and... You don't have nothing else to do when, when everything was closed and looking at the YouTube channels of different nail shows like Long Hair, Pretty Nail Show, you know, Femi, you know, and um, National Career Education. Yeah, NCE, named Susie, love her. But anyway, so I learned by watching YouTube channels, nail YouTube channels, YouTubers, and I learned how to do nails. So I do my own nails. See, these are mine. These are mine. And I wanted that one to be different, yes. But these are mine. These are my nails. Anyway, so um, so back to what I was saying. So I have some little stuff. I have some little information, little facts information. HIV and women, get the facts. Get the facts. Know your status by getting tested. Go get tested, women and men. I also have... Um, some different pamphlets like chlamydia if you want to know about chlamydia syphilis uh std alcohol other drugs condoms think about it think about it think about it think about it and let me see what's this been talking abstinence you know to your children there's nothing wrong with talking about abstinence to your children because one of these days they're gonna be having sex just like you do all right, so learn how to teach your kids about abstinence. If you don't want them to have sex, abstinence. You know how to be like, oh, mommy, no, you ain't talk. Yes, talk about it. Here's one, um, some HIV facts. I have a whole bunch of stuff. And then we are here. We got um, school systems and HIV information for teachers and school officials. We need to continue to teach kids in school. We need to continue to have people that are positive to come in and talk about their 
testimony of how they became HIV positive. That way you won't make the same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, everybody make mistakes by having unprotected sex and not knowing that person. And you know you should have protected yourself. I'm one of those. I should have protected myself. So, um, and then this right here is, let's talk about sex, y'all. Come on. Sex is normal. That's life. It's a part of life because God wanted us to have sex, to multiply. Multiply. Show you that SCD fact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one right here is uh, 50 things you need to know about STDs. It's all in here. It's all in here. You can get all this stuff from the CDC. Okay, here's another one. Ain't no shame. Ladies, do your thing. Just make sure you safe in the game. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let me read that again. I like that. Ain't no shame. Lady, do your thing. Just make sure you safe in the game. And it's T-H-A. The game. You know it's T-H-E. So anyway, then right here is like living with HIV. The feelings that we go through. The feelings living with HIV. Yes. I could tell you a whole lot of feelings what I go through. So anyway, then here's one. It's called My Brother Got AIDS, an African-American man story. Yes. All right. So. Um, I'm sorry. Hold on. I got to pause you for a minute. Andrew. Andrew. The lady is here to pick up the food. Can you please get the bag? She said she's downstairs. I need your help, man. I wasn't supposed to be taking no breaks and time I hold on. Wait a minute. I'm live. And we're giving away some fruit. Excuse me. Food, too. Okay. So, right here, this is uh, what everyone should know about HIV testing. This is it. HIV testing and it looked like a picture like of a doctor or a counselor walking a gentleman in their office okay so then this one is older adults and HIV oh there's my dog barking doogie come here let everybody see you you know it's life come here come on let me see come on pick it come on all right Here's my little partner right here. This one on. This is Doogie Doogie. Say hi, Doogie. Ain't nobody coming in here. Shh. Nobody coming in. Oh, okay, thank you for the kisses. Look, you don't want to see? Look, tell everybody. Say hi. Okay, look. Go get Papa. Okay, okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Look, girl. Watch it. You want to pick you up? You want to pick? Come on, come on. Get up. Come on. This is girl a girl, yeah. This is my girl a girl, yeah. Oh, ain't nobody in here. You gonna say hi to everybody? Ain't nobody in here. Look, you see, we see me. Oh, you so sweet, my little snouts, wilds. Okay, get down. Okay, hush up. Go sit down. Go on. Go. I'm gonna keep holding you if you don't. Sit down. All right, now this is older adults with HIV. And then this right here is HIV and AIDS. Are you at risk? You are if you have an unprotected sex. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's one. And then this right here is what do your HIV test results mean? This little pamphlet right here shows you what it means. Okay. All right. Now, this one here is women in HIV getting him to use a condom. Women, you got to learn how to negotiate using condoms in a relationship. I learned that too. And uh, because I got a prop, matter of fact, okay, let's let's do this. Get him to use a condom. That's meaning negotiating using a condom. This right here is a pack, uh, well, pack, a little bag I got when I used to work for the Cab County Board of Health and we had to go to the little training and stuff. And so um, they gave us, teaching us how to put on condoms, they gave us this, Mr. Woody. This is what I showed last week on how to put on a male condom. And then. Okay, let's pull this out. If I can, if I, if I can. Okay, here we go. And what's inside? Intervention videos. Do it right. It's about you. Safe in the city. 
And then they have some other ones in Spanish, and I don't know how to speak Spanish. It's voices. It's voices. All right, that's what it means. I got CDs in here where I can show you it. What it shows you different ways to negotiate using condoms. I'm sorry, I got messages coming up on the screen, so I was giving away some food, and some more people is um, tuning in on me. Let me see if I can remember. Okay, voices, video, opportunity, innovative, condom, education of safer sex. That's what the voices mean. So anyway, so learn how to negotiate using condoms. If he don't want to put on the condom, skedaddle, skedaddle, get, get, get. Ain't got time. Ain't got time for your shenanigans and catching HIV like Miss Lisa did. No, mm -mm, ain't got time for that. So... And here's one, HIV mom to be right here. HIV mom to be. I was pregnant and HIV positive and I had a baby and she's negative. Thank you, God. Okay, hormone free, latex free, birth control and STD prevention that puts women in control. Here's another little pamphlet. All right, there was a lot to say. And here's one that says living with, AIDS, living with HIV and AIDS. That's another little pamphlet. And then this right here is drugs, alcohol, and HIV. It's a consumer guide for African Americans. Okay, all right. So, and it ain't just black people that get HIV either. Every, every nationality get it. Every nationality get HIV. All right, don't get it twisted. It ain't just a black folk thing. Like back in the day, you thought it was a gay thing. But it was more popular back in the day with gays but now it's all over it's everybody none gays and gays black and white and purple and blue and yellow and green and whatever i'm gonna wait that's what this pamphlet is about i'm gonna wait okay i have a lot of these so if you need any of these pamphlets let me know and i can mail you some yes i can okay so here's another one i'm going to wait now check this out i just noticed the difference here I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait. Yes, wait. Teenagers, wait. Okay, so here's another one. HIV facts for teens. Look at that. Got information for teens. You can share this with your teens. Yes, share this with your kids. They need to know. Don't be ashamed. I showed it with my daughter before she was a teen. I showed her all pictures of vaginas and and, and penises that have all different kinds of STDs, sores, and bumps, and holes, and all that stuff. I showed her that, yeah, because I want her to know. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, that's what this is. HIV facts for teens. Teens, teens. Talk to your teens. And don't be afraid. And if you are afraid and don't really know how to talk to them, come to me. I can do it. I can do it. I can teach. And I can, t yeah, I can teach. Okay? All right. So I can help you out there. Don't be ashamed. Um, girl, girl. Hey. Want to pick you up again? Come and say hey to the camera. Want to say hey? Doogie, what about you? Chihuahua. Come on. Come on, Doogie. Come on. Come on up here. Come on, side get you. Come on. Come on. You got to come up here. Come on. Come, some awesome people want to see you. Come on. Woo! Okay. There he go again. There go, there go Doogie Wookie. His name is Doogie. I'm sorry. You know how we got nicknames for our little doggy walk. Oh, you like him? You don't like him? Yeah. His name is Doogie. My daughter named him. And he's so mean. But I ain't trained him that way. He just all my me. Oh, you don't want to boo that. I don't boo boo boo. <laughs> Hey, so silly. So mama know you the one silly. Okay, I got to. Okay, well, you can stay right here. You want to stay right here? All right, so here's another one. What every teen should know about sex. You need to know this too. Okay, see right here? That's that one. What every teen need to know about sex. Don't be afraid to talk to your kids about that. Y'all know. I'm trying to help you out. Okay, here's another. It's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. Tell him or her, no, I don't want to have sex. No. No means no. It don't mean yes. No means no. And yes means yes. 
There is a difference. Hi, boo boo. Okay. Uh, it's okay to say no. Keep on, keep on going, girl, because you know you got a lot. Oh, they have the condom quiz. Look at that. Y'all want to take the condom quiz? I would love to do that. But we're going to do it on another day. How about that? All right. Then we got HIV and men. A call to men of color. Men of color. Every color in the world is a color. All right. That's one. And then we got, oh, well, that's the same thing. And um, here's another one. See that? Dating safety. Talking with your team. Here's another one. Yeah. Tell somebody I'm on here live talking about this this stuff that needs to be talked about. Okay, HIV. Yes. Yes. I've been HIV positive since 2003 and I don't mind sharing my story because I'm helping somebody. If 5,000 people looking at me and only one person follows me and do what you're supposed to do, taking my advice by having protective sex, then I'm doing it. I'm doing something right. One. Not zero. One. Okay, you can get down now, dude. Go ahead, get down. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, yeah, it's uh, teach your teen to date safely, counter media, messages about sex, how to begin, and what to say. Yeah, and then and in the back it says uh, avoiding alcohol help keeps teens safe. So, that's another pamphlet. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get to this right here, this quiz, but on another day. And so, anyway, I have a whole... Oh, Lord, let me see what else I got in here. I have a lot. I got a lot. Oh, here's a good... This is a, actually a book. It's called A Christian Response to AIDS. Christian Response to AIDS. This is something else that I can get into another time. So, let me sit this over here. I got a... I have a whole... I have a lot. I have a lot of these. I haven't just... I haven't, I haven't pulled them all out. But anyway, let's see what I got here. Oh, so you're HIV negative. Hey, let's keep it that way. Like my husband and my daughter, they're negative and I'm so happy. Okay, so yeah, stay that way. Stay that way. Don't be like me being HIV positive, but you know what I'm saying? I'm still living. I'm still living my truth. All right, so good nutrition for people with... Okay, this is diabetes. That's a diabetes, not a HIV, but still you can still read it. Uh, cause some people this HIV positive have diabetes too. Okay, um, uh, oh yeah, like me, I I have diabetes. Oh, here's something at Grady Hospital. It's a teen center. Look at that. It's a teen center. Uh, you might want to go and get uh birth controls or pregnancy tests or STD and HIV testing, sports physical counseling uh you know all that good stuff here here this right here is easy food tips for heart healthy eating that's one there and then here's an organization called anise and anise they're a therapeutic intervention for children and adults and they also help people that's hiv positive yes they do Anise, 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 and that's www.anise.org, A-N-I-Z.org. Tell them Lisa Brick sent you, Butterfly Girls, if you go. Um, Let's see, what else I got in here? Absten abstinence, what's in it for me? Look at him. Huh. He like he looking all upset because he can't get, what, what, what's in it for me? Not a doggone thing. All right, puberty facts. Here we go, puberty facts. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Here we go. What's this right here? Oh, this is one of the Voices CDs that I have. The Voices CDs I have. and Voices is um, perspective on HIV and AIDS. That's, that's what that is right there. Some good, good stuff, good information. All right, here's a book that I have. I got the band, the rubber band. Okay. Voices, pers perspective on HIV and AIDS, a curriculum guide. It all goes together with that little thing, that the thing I told you. This right here, it all goes with this, comes with this, and also with Mr. Woody. It all come together because I show you how to put one on. Okay. Sorry for being loud, but you know, that's just me. Sometimes I have to have fun with it and stuff. Okay. Um,. 
Mm. Oh, this is about some meds. I can't really educate you on all meds. I can tell you about my meds that I take, which is Jim Boyer. Okay, so pr- protect. I can't even talk. Protect yourself from HIV. And this says for women. All right. And this is the Health Improvement Georgia HIV AIDS Take Project. That's what that is. That's what that is. If you ever need any of these pamphlets, just let me know because I can mail them to you. Just let me know how many you need so I can go ahead and get them in advance. And and I think I have more, but I think that's enough for now. Um, just remember, it's okay to say no. It's okay to say no to sex. It's okay. That's all right. It just you know it's all right okay so that was some stuff don't forget about oh right here this is the well from the well project hiv and women get the facts this is oh i got it upside down this is from the well project they gave me a whole bunch so if you need some of this you can uh or you can go to the wellproject.org and they can send you some information on them don't forget there are female condoms in this world, FC2, female condoms. Remember, I just showed you how to put on that female condom. Mm-hmm. Yep. And don't forget to throw it away when you take it off. If you use it, take it off. Throw it in the trash. Don't throw it in no toilet. So, and, uh, oh, yeah, they got, this is weird. Uh, FC2 is covered. Okay, so FC2 is covered with zero co-payment by most insurance plans. So ask your doctor for a prescription, okay? And see if they can give you a prescription of the SCT, which is female condoms. And remember, we are going to do a quiz, okay? The condom quiz, I'm going to do that on another day, okay? And let me tell you, that day, the year before the pandemic hit, I had so many condoms that I was ready to pass out. Look at all these different condoms. All these different condoms. I mean, and... and you're going to be surprised what I tell you after this. Look at this. I, I mean, I got bags and bags of condoms. And guess what? I can't can't even, I can't use them. I can't give them out. Because they all expired. Because of the pandemic, I couldn't use them. I couldn't pass them out. Like this right here is mint chocolate. Oh, my God. They got different flavors. Ooh, look at that hot rind. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, they, so many. And that's the next thing I'm working on, getting some uh, condoms with my logo on it. Listen to one. There's different ones. Wild style. You know, they got all. Oh, look at this. Uh, refreshing one. All types of condoms. I can't I can't use them, y'all. It's, it's, it's don't make no sense. Oh, sweet nothing. Look at that. Sweet nothing. All right, let's see. Where did the mint chocolate? Let's see what this is. Oh, ring one up. Look at that. Ring one up. All these are condoms in this package. And I can't use them. Why? Because they're expired. Let me see. The expiration date is March 2021. It just passed. I can't use them. I had these for over two years. Wow, look at this. January 2021. I I, I can't use it, y'all. It's, it's don't make no sense. Wait a minute. I got some right here. These are the rip B condoms. Oh, oh, rib B condoms. What's the expiration date? September 2020. I can't use it. I I, I can't use it. Look at look at all these. I mean, what can I do with these? I can't do nothing with these. It just went to waste. So anyway, so I just wanted to come on here and educate you about the female condom, how to put the female condom on, show people you know if they need to see this video because at the beginning I showed you how to put on a female condom. It's very easy and very simple. You know, it's very easy and it's very, very simple. I need to close this up so they don't fall out. So that's it, guys. That's it for me. That's it for you. Remember, we are responsible for our own actions. You need to hit me up. Hit me up here on IG or you can go on Facebook to Butterfly Girls LLC, um, Butterfly Girls Women Support Group, all on Facebook. Uh, my phone number, I can get my phone, 470-332-5433. 
And then my email is Lisa, L-I-S-A, 48, Brit, B-R-I-T-T, at gmail.com. Remember, we are responsible for our own actions. Thank you. Peace out.